Minister Fidan, my brother, welcome to Jakarta. It is an honor for me to receive your first official visit to Indonesia and Southeast Asia. Indonesia and Turkey share a long-standing friendship. In 2024, we will celebrate 75th years of diplomatic relation. We have to work harder to give the real benefit of having the strategic partnership. Moving forward, our cooperation should contribute to the well-being of our people, to the well-being of the world, as well as to the wider Ummah. During our bilateral meetings, Minister Fidan and I discussed a number of important topics related to Indonesia and Turkey, bilateral cooperation. First, on the uh, first, Indonesia and Turkey is a strategic partner. Therefore, last year, we established the high-level strategic council. I convey a standing invitation from President Widodo for a bilateral visit, and the state visit can be used to convene the first high-level strategic council and ensuring concrete and impactful result. Second, we review strategic bilateral agreements signed by our two leaders last year. We are glad to see the mutual commitment from both countries to expedite their implementation. Third, on trade. We welcome the continuous growth in our bilateral trade, which amounting to almost 3 billion US dollar last year, increased by 29% from the previous year. We are committed to expedite the conclusion of Indonesia-Turkey Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement negotiation. Fourth, on the industrial cooperation and investment. We welcome business-to-business -business cooperation on number one, joint production and distribution of electric bus, number two, cooperation in natural gas, Number three, development on Food City Complex in Gorontalo and Trans Sumatra Toll Road. And number four, investment in wood processing industries in Sumatra. I invited Turkish private sector to follow suit using Indonesia as an industrial hub for the Asia Pacific market and sources of industry materials. Besides that, we also discussed a number of regional and international issues such as ASEAN, situation in Ukraine, Myanmar, Palestine, and Afghanistan. Colleagues, after our bilateral meeting, Minister Fidan and I were joined by the ASEAN Secretary General for our trilateral meeting. ASEAN and Turkey will leverage our strategic position to promoting paradigm of collaboration globally. I welcome Turkey's support for ASEAN inclusive approach in the Indo-Pacific. ASEAN and Turkey will continue advancing our practical cooperation areas, such as in countering terrorism and violent extremism, energy transition, science and technology, and disaster management. Indonesia looks forward for a stronger ASEAN and Turkey cooperation to continue the joint cooperation program in line with the practical cooperation area of our sectoral dialogue partner. Colleagues, today Indonesia and Turkey are two leading emerging countries with significant influences in our respective region. We are also fellow of member of the G20, OIC, and MICTA, and we are countries with large Muslim population. We will continue to work together in advancing issues of common interest. Our two countries share the same principal position. We want freedom for Palestine. We want peace in Afghanistan and respect the right of Afghan women. We also discuss possibility of exploring joint development projects between TICA and Indonesia aid in third countries which we have common interests and causes. We will continue advancing our 
partnership and to ensure that it truly benefit not only to our people but also to the world beyond our border. Minister Fidan, once again, thank you very much for your visit. And now I would like to invite you to deliver your views. Thank you. Thank you very much, Minister Marsudi. Um, I am pleased to be in Indonesia upon the invitation of Minister Marsudi. Um, and I thank Madam Minister for the warm hospitality. Today is the seventh anniversary of the heinous coup attempt carried out by the Federal Terrorist Organization on 15 July 2016. This was one of the worst acts of terror in our history. That night, 251 citizens made the ultimate sacrifice. More than 2,000 people were injured. I would like to pay my tribute to our martyrs who fell while protecting our democracy, freedom, and sovereignty. May Allah rest their souls in peace. Dear friends, Indonesia is our strategic partner. We have long-standing bonds of friendship and collaboration. Indonesia was one of the first countries to reach out to Turkey following the devastating earthquakes in February. We thank Indonesia for the support extended. We value our relations and remain determined to strengthen them in all possible fields. We <clears throat> Indonesia is also an important implementation partner under our Asia and EU initiative. During President Erdogan's visit to Bali last year for the G20 summit, we established the high-level strategic cooperation council between our countries. This was a milestone in our relations. This mechanism will be a concrete step forward to carry our relations into a new phase. In our meeting today, we covered the topics on our bilateral agenda. We exchanged views on convening the first strategic cooperation council at the earliest. We also discussed regional issues ranging from Afghanistan, Middle East, Palestine, Rohingya, and UN Security Council reform. As for economic relations, our trade increased by 45% last year. We will work harder to reach the $10 billion target set by our leaders. Construction cooperation can be a new field, especially in the framework of setting up Indonesia's new capital city, Nusantara. Turkish contractors are well suited and experienced to realize major projects. Defense industry is an important item on our bilateral agenda. Turkish defense companies are world leaders in specific fields. There is a room for further collaboration. We will also continue to focus on finance, technology, transportation, energy, tourism, culture, and education. We both attach great importance to people-to-people -to -people ties. There is a high demand for Turkish Airlines flights to Indonesia. We discussed ways to strengthen our cooperation in the aviation sector. In our meeting today, we discussed the importance of combating terrorism and transnational crimes. We exchanged views on the wide range of regional and international issues. We discussed rising global challenges, including Islamophobia and despicable attacks against the Holy Quran. Our countries have fruitful exchanges in the MiCTA platform. We commend Indonesia's ongoing successful MiCTA chairmanship. We also held the Turkey ASEAN fifth trilateral meeting today. As a sectoral dialogue partner of the ASEAN, we discuss the way forward. I underlined that Turkey is interested in further developing political dialogue with ASEAN. During Indonesia's successful chairmanship, we enhanced our institutional relations with ASEAN. We are grateful to Indonesia for its continued support. I would like to reiterate our will to expand and deepen our cooperation with Indonesia. Once again, I thank Minister Marsidi for her generous hospitality. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Minister Vida. Thank you, colleagues.